Hi Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. Hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, so we're gonna get into this channel message reading. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you, definitely subscribe. All right, so we're gonna get started everyone. Let's see what we have. Spirit, angels, God's universe, I call upon you now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. Channel message reading. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Let's see what we got here. Oh no. So we have sexual abuse. Ooh, this may be very triggering for a lot of you here. So someone is being sexually abused or have experienced some type of sexual abuse. Abuse here. Wow, tell me more about this. Sexual abuse. This can be for male or female. This can be you or someone that's in your energy. What is sexual abuse, spirit? Okay. All right, so clarity and truth. So yeah, Ace of Swords energy. Clarity and truth. It seems like there is a truth that's being exposed that someone has been abused sexually, whether that's you or someone connected to you. Okay, so let's see what this is about. And of course, please don't force this to fit. Okay, so this seems like a very specific reading. What is this sexual abuse energy spirit? Tell me more. Sexual abuse. Why is that here for Scorpio? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Clarity and truth came out twice here. So it is a truth here. Of course, the Ace of Swords, this is a yes card. Someone is being abused. It's the truth here. Hmm. Could be someone who has Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So I'm getting if you were questioning this, the answer is yes. Tell me more. Sexual abuse. Wheel of Fortune. Give me one more. Sexual abuse. Someone here has been sexually abused. Oh, it's you here, Scorpio. Or this can be a male water sign. This has changed you or whoever this masculine is. So Wheel of Fortune is also Scorpio energy. Fig signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Whoever has been sexually abused in their life, it has completely changed them. Talking about it makes someone here emotional. It's a very sensitive topic here. Hmm. Yeah, so Scorpio, it looks like you're still on the journey of healing from that situation. You're trying to leave the past in the past. Move on from this chapter in your life. And kind of here and let it go. But there are some times where it bothers you with the moon card. Hmm. Yeah, someone here is on a healing journey. Scorpio, the death card, Sagittarius, the temperance. Is trying to find balance where there there was a shake up. It's, it's taking some time, but you're getting through it. This completely has changed you. Yeah. Mm. It changed your life. It changed your world. But at the end of the day, what I feel is though, you can turn that pain into your power. Yeah. What is clarity, truth, when it comes to sexual abuse? For 
Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Phoenix. And again, it does, even if it's not you, Scorpio, this can be a fellow water sign, another Scorpio, or someone who could be an Aquarius or a fixed sign. The truth is they have changed ever since this may have occurred in their life. Clarity, truth. Thank you. All right, so three of pentacles, and we got another card that fell. Hang on. <clears throat> So what fell on the floor was the hangman in the reverse, Pisces energy. Hmm. The hangman here. Huh. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I'm hearing like a group home or like a setting where there's a lot of people, like a church, a group home, shelter. It's somewhere with this three of pentacles where it seemed like other people was around. And it's like with that hangman, someone was stuck in a situation. Or they got themselves stuck in a situation with a third party that they chose to invest into. Hmm. Let's see what this is. What is the Ace of Swords and sexual abuse? It's almost like someone feels like they can't escape something. Ace of Swords. Three of Wands. What is the Wheel of Fortune and sexual abuse? Thank you. I don't know why. I'm picking up this is a masculine for some reason. Someone can have the letter O, the letter A, the letter T, or the letter R. It's a water sign masculine. Or someone has strong Scorpio placements. This person has been through abuse. And it has completely changed their life. We also have the strength card here. Seem like the way that they cover their pain up is, is their pride, is their ego. They're not wanting to show the world their weakness. Someone keeps this brave face. This individual is trying to leave this past in the past. They really are. They're trying to be optimistic when it comes to the future, not allowing this to hold them back. Hmm. They're trying their best on a mentally level, emotionally level to walk away from this, but it still haunts someone. They still think about it. Sometimes they fall into a little bit of depression, anxiety. Hmm. What is the Wheel of Fortune and sexual abuse for Scorpio? Yeah, for some reason I'm picking up, this is a masculine here. Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. The star in the reverse. Tell me about this King of Cups and sexual abuse. Yeah. Someone still sees themselves as a victim, which of course they are if it's already happened, whether it was at childhood, in their adulthood, yeah. Someone, even though they may have was able to get free from this, they're still a victim. It still haunts them. They still dream about it, think about it. It's a mental abuse now. Because not only something was a sexual abuse, but it also triggers someone on a mental level. They haven't really healed from this. Even in this, like I said, this really changed 
this person's life is someone who has Aquarius, Pisces, or Scorpio. So like I said, this is you, but I'm picking up more of a masculine here. Male, well, well you know, male water sign here. But they try to be strong. They need to talk about it, but instead of talking about it, they turn their back. But deep down inside with the star in the reverse, they lost all faith, all hope. They're not inspired by anything. It's a very depressive type of energy someone has. It's like some I'm hearing someone doesn't pray anymore. Their whole energy, their whole life has shifted. It's changed. Hmm. Wow. What is the three of pentacles with clarity truth? So the number 33 is here that may resonate with someone. Also the number 88. Three of pentacles, clarity, and truth. Mm. Yeah, six of cups. This happened in someone's childhood or just in their past, past life. I don't know if this is something that it seems like a building, a group of people, like a group home or church setting. It's something about a building from someone's past. This could even have happened at school. Yeah, this person is scared. They're very broken, scared. They're damaged. They've been through a lot in their past. A lot. So anyone that tries to approach them to be friends or say, let's go out for dinner or showing any type of emotions, they automatically reject them. They are afraid of everyone. They don't trust. I heard someone just don't trust people. Yeah. They're still allowing this dark energy to overtake their life to the point that all of their relationships fail. Because in their mind, they're, well, basically, they're still living in this dark energy from their past. And this also may be someone who sabotaged a lot of relationships because they're still broken. They're still hurt. Maybe even cost the relationship between you and them. Twin flame in reverse, two of cups in reverse. Hmm. This abuse that someone experienced has caused them to go down the wrong road. They've attached themselves to dark energy. I don't know if that's their way to cope with it. Hmm. Wow. All right. Final card here. So, of course, if this resonates with you or someone connected to you that you know of, Scorpio, whether you're male or female, and you may have Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo in your chart, of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. All right, what is the hangman in clarity and truth? Mm. Three of cups here. Mm. I feel like for someone to not think about it, so they won't be so stuck on what's happened already. Someone drinks. They like drink to suppress their feelings and emotions. That's their way of healing. Yeah. Mm. And on top of that, someone uses sex to overcome what they have experienced. They're very guarded in their life. So they're very wild and obnoxious very reckless with their energy because someone did it to them they're doing it to others mm. so they go out they hang out party meet new people go out on dates and then they run off yeah causing chaos everywhere because their energy is chaotic yeah wow so 333 and 88 is here so yeah, male or female Scorpio or male or female energy period. Someone is a prisoner of their own mind. Mm -hmm. They're still operating out of that victim mentality. 
And if someone doesn't go and get help or sit down and talk to someone, get some type of therapy or counseling, they're going to destroy everyone that come in contact with them. Everyone. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. Peace, love, and light. And I'll see you on the next reading, okay? Bye-bye.